Hey guys, it's kind of loud here. We got an interstate over here and we've got a semi with a generator running, but we've got Alan and Judy here and they're wanting to sell this 1972 Continental Coupe. Um, how many miles are on it, Alan? Less than 54,000. Less than 54,000 original miles. And, and did you say you bought it new? Oh yeah, I got papers showing you know, I was the first owner everywhere. You have all the paperwork showing you where you were the first owner? Yep. I ain't even got the paper that comes on the, win on the window. The window sticker? Yep, you got the original window yes. sticker. So, a 72 <laughs> Continental Triple Black. Um, I guess it's a 460 engine. Oh, yeah. Four, it's probably the only thing you could get. That's right. Yeah. Um, my God, there's quite a list of things you've done to it. Yeah. Uh, we've got, I guess you've gone all through the brakes. Oh, brand new brakes are on. Master cylinder front rotors, front wheel bearings, bearings and seals, uh, brake hoses, uh, flush all brake lines, yep. uh, rear wheel cylinders, yep. rear brake shoes, yep. pressure hose on rear differential, uh, spark plugs, cap, rotor, wires, PVC, water pump, front engine cover. Did you do a timing chain? Uh, he took the cover off. I don't think he did, but the cover's been off and it put it back on. The cover's been off, got a new seal on it? It's got a new seal right there. Okay, but, no, but the timing chain's original. But I, I think timing chain's original. At less than 54,000 miles, it should be okay anyway. So it says radiator here. Did you... New radiator. It's a new radiator? Yep. Uh, new belt? Yep. New fuel pump? Yes. Uh, new fuel tank and sending unit. Right. So the fuel, fuel fuel tank that was that was expensive. The oh, fuel tank was expensive. Yeah, we'll put a new one in. And the sending unit. So I yeah, guess the fuel right. gauge works. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fuel gauge works. I'd say everything works. Flushed out all fuel lines. Uh, retro choke install. Power for new choke assembly. So does that mean it's got a new choke on the carburetor? It's, a, it's on the it's an automatic that was on there, and I think he replaced the automatic part. It's original, but has been changed. Okay, so is the carburetor original? Uh, the carburetor's original, just has been rebuilt. It's been rebuilt. Yeah, but that's original, and uh, that's what we got to get the lines and everything hooked up. That's why it's not running. Is oh, so it won't run because the fuel lines aren't hooked up to the carburetor. To the carburetor. We just got the carburetor in day four yesterday. And oh, you just got the carburetor in day four yesterday, but it's been rebuilt. Oh yeah. So you haven't started it yet, no, though. No, we have not. Okay. Um, mountain balance tires. Yeah, brand new tires. They look new. They, they still have blue. New. Yeah, they still got blue on the white walls. Yeah. Replace all heater hoses. Yep. Uh, heater control valve, and it's got a new battery in it. That's right. So, and you've got the fender skirts for okay, it, fender skirt. and the original wheel covers. Yes, yes. Oh, there's the original window sticker, copy of it. Oh, I think that's... Let's see what we got. Here, let me put my glasses on, please. I don't have mine either. <laughs> okay, so, Lincoln Continental two-door coupe. 1972 base price 7172 included at no extra charge uh, 460 select shift transmission power windows power seat two-way uh, power steering power front disc brakes power ventilation automatic temperature control full tinted glass AM radio and power antenna so black leather interior was 17320 yep. black vinyl roof was 15610 yep. White sidewall, Goodrich radial well, JR7015 Lifesaver tires. No charge for those. Uh, power lock release group. 10630, it looks like. Yeah. Tilt steering wheel. Yeah. 7220. Automatic speed control, 9450. Uh, Six-way power seat with passenger recline 15220, front bumper guards 1970, AM FM stereo radio and power antenna 14560, intermittent windshield wipers 2630, 
vinyl insert body side moldings 3410 comes out to eight thousand two hundred eighty dollars and twenty cents so do you have the original sticker too or is that just a copy of it no i got the original. you do have the original i kept it and then <laughs> you kept it and then you had a photocopy and had it laminated no, i had this laminated so, so you ordered this car new yourself? Yeah, myself. Yeah. Okay. And where did you order it from? Rail Splitters. Is that on here where it cut, where it was delivered? Uh, it's here in Springfield. It's not there. Well, yeah, it got cut off. It's yeah. sold to down here. Yeah. But but it's been in Springfield, Illinois, its whole life. Oh yeah. 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 And I've been the only one that's ever driven it. You've been the only one that's ever driven it. Yep. Yep. I don't think you'd find a rust mark or anything. Yeah, I don't see any rust on the body. Uh, body's straight. Um, the wheels don't look rusty at all. Oh, you had the wheels powder coated. I had the whole wheels powder coated. Okay. Powder coated wheels and new tires. Uh, looks like hand cooked tires, so they're good tires. Yeah, they're good tires. Yep. Still got the blue on the white wall, yep. so that tells us they're new. Yeah. Um, we can't really open this door too good because the trailer hits it, but I'll see. Let me the hand. Come on, come on. Can you there? Yeah. Um, I don't think you guys can see much in there, but I do see a rim blow steering wheel with tilt and cruise and I see the AM FM radio. It looks like the mirror is falling off. I don't see any cracks in the dash. I don't see any rips in the seats. I don't think there is any. No. And you say all the windows work? Yes. Everything. Is. Does the door locks work? Yes. Okay. The vinyl top. It's right here is what's bad. Huh? It's right there to see what's bad. I don't see it. Well, here's a little spot right okay, here. It may have a bubble. Yeah. You can buy this material. Can you? Yeah, you can get that material if you can find somebody to put a new vinyl top well, on it. Yeah. I even, uh, I even thought of taking the vinyl off and it's painted. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the power antenna works? Yeah. Everything, everything works. It doesn't look like it's ever been beat up, wrecked oh, or anything. Has. I've been the only one that ever it. And, uh, I was just trying to get it back on the road again because my dad died at 72. And he told me, he says... Your yeah, dad died in 72? In 72 and I bought this and he got to see it before he died. Well, he got to see it before he died. And he always said that was his car. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Your dad always claimed it, huh? Yep, yep. Huh. Were you working at the dealership when you bought it? No. You weren't? No. Nope. I've always been, uh, I'm born and raised in Pawnee, Illinois. Pawnee, Illinois. That's about 20 miles from here. Alan just had back surgery, guys. Is yeah. why he's trying to stay on the trailer That's here. right. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else I want to tell you. But the car came from Rail Splitters. I ordered it. Rail Splitters was the name of the dealer? Yes. Yes. Rail Splitters, probably Lincoln Mercury? Yep. Yep. That's it. But I've always owned it, and it's hardly ever been in the rain. Yeah. I've always. He says it's hardly ever been in the rain. He's owned it since it was new. And it was undercoated from there. Yeah. I think a good buff job would make the paint look great. Oh, it has a better Yeah, I'm not even sure somebody would have to paint it, really. Oh, no, they wouldn't have to. I don't see any dents or rust on the bumper. There's a, I don't think there's any rust in it. No. I'm going to go on around here. Oh, here's the, here's the bad spot on the vinyl roof you were talking about. Yeah, we got some bubbling going on right here. Right here on the vinyl roof, we got some bubbling under there. So that would have to be taken off and repaired. But I don't think you'd be really have to be looking for any parts for this car. All the chrome and trim and everything looks good and straight. 
I'm not so sure that I think maybe just a good buff job and maybe a new vinyl top and make this car look new again see if I can show you guys in here I don't see any wear on the driver's seat I don't see any wear on the seat at all there is a little crack in the dash up there I'm not sure if you can find a dash or have that repaired. The air cleaner's laying in the back seat, but I don't see any rips back there either. I really wish we could open up the doors and get in there. He says all the windows and door locks and seats, he said everything works on the car. Bumper looks like it may be hanging down a little bit right there. See if we can see through this gate. I don't see any dents or rust in this on this bumper either, or any pitting or anything. The vacuum headlight doors are up. But they, work. <laughs> they do work. Oh, yeah. How long has it been? You say since it's been started? I'd say probably a year. Probably a year since we it's had been started. Get yeah. We just got the carburetor fried. <laughs> I do see one crack in the dash over there on, on that side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see if I can open up the hood for them. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm going to pause it. All right, guys, we got the hood open and still has all the original insulation up underneath the hood there. Still got the fan shroud in good shape. The belts are not on it, but he said he's got all new belts for it. The carburetor isn't hooked back up yet, but the carburetor was just rebuilt by a racer here in town, they said. Cruise control is intact. Looks like it's got a new master cylinder. It has. But the, the lines aren't hooked up yet, so you haven't tried the brake shed either? Not yet. That all the lines have been blown out, they'd have yes. to be bled. Yes, the fuel lines got a new fuel tank. So what all had you do to the brakes? Does it have, you said rotors, does it have new calipers? Yes. New calipers? Everyone. Everything's been done. You just haven't tried it all out yet. But it all looks pretty well complete otherwise. Um, looks like it needs the hoses put on it. Did he have the engine out of it? No. No. Never had been out. You can see the new water pump. Yeah. I'm surprised to see it doesn't have a clutch fan on it. But it is. Yeah, new fuel pump. You see it has the original OK paint markings from the factory yeah. on it. Yeah. It's so like I say, man is I'd say pretty good. Well that hood shut's nice and solid. Yeah, yeah the it's, it's solid. hood ornament doesn't have any pitting, doesn't look like there's any rock chips or anything on the front of it. I'm not so sure. I think a guy could just buff this car out and I know you could. And I don't think it needs painted at all. No. Really, it just needs a vinyl top. Yeah. Can we look in the trunk? Yeah. Are the wheel covers and fender skirts in the trunk? Yeah, I, give, I got the keys, but I didn't see a keyhole. Yeah. Oh, there's a keyhole back there somewhere. Let's look in here. No, yeah, all that looks good. Mm -hmm. It's right here. I tried that, except I didn't lift it up. That'd be the round one, okay. yeah. Did it say it had a power trunk release? Yeah, they do. Yeah. That probably part of the power lock group. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, so you got the fender skirts all primered and ready oh, to paint, yeah, huh? Ready to go. Yep. There's all four original wheel covers. They look really nice. They're not beat up. No, they're not. And there's the chrome trim that goes on the fender skirts. Yeah. That'd be really easy to match that black paint. Oh, yeah. I'd think it so. Be no got all the original carpet in here that would clean up good. Yeah. There's another paint, original paint marking up there. Right. 
Got the sticker. It's never, this car has never been wrecked. Never. Yeah, it don't look like it's been it's wrecked. Nothing, happened. nothing looks like it's ever been messed with. Yeah, it's got a, a power trunk release wire because it's purple with a yellow stripe, oh, and then right. it's and then it's got the light, yeah. the light wire going up here too for your right. illumination for the trunk. There's the new hoses. Yep. So there's your jack storage back there. So no rust underneath the trunk at all yeah this car don't need any trim or any dents fixed or anything like that it just needs a vinyl top and a little bit of rust fixed underneath it see if i can get off here without breaking my neck <laughs> so what are you asking for it i was asking 85. You were asking 85. You're down to 8. 8,000. 8, yeah. Yeah. And I'm just sure it's worth it. Mm hmm. Well, this is Alan's phone number 217 299 1444. That's it. Call that really before you call this Kenny guy. Who's Kenny? Kenny is a guy that done all the work for me. He's a mechanic certified there. Okay, Kenny's a certified mechanic that did all the work for him. So, I mean, if you if you get okay to call him, I guess sure. he'd probably talk to somebody. Sure he would. Yeah. But uh, like I say, I don't know all my paperwork. Anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> the rubber's not too bad. No. But you can assure everybody that when they get in there and they go to put all the windows down and back up, they're going to work right. They should and work all that. perfect. They should work perfect. Okay. And I just about guarantee you, I can't, the battery is unhooked and everything. We unhooked all that too. Yeah, the battery's unhooked, but we can't get in there anyway no. because we can't open the doors. No. No. So, there you go, guys. It's not something you see every day. A triple black 72 Continental. You guys have seen Adams. You know what it looks like, but it's got the slick top. You know, if you don't want to spend the money on a vinyl roof, you could just have it taken off and have it sanded and painted. That's what I was thinking. You know, and just not, and, and you know what a slick top Continental looks like because you, you've seen Adams of Adam, yeah. of rare classic cars and automotive history. So if you're interested in a 72 triple black Continental, I'm here to tell you, I've been over it. I don't see any rust except up underneath that vinyl top. And it, you know, less than 54,000 miles, yeah, you say? Guaranteed. I just, what kind of exhaust does it have on it? Whatever came on it, just a single exhaust. Just a single exhaust, so you haven't replaced that I yet? Haven't, no, I haven't. Okay. That might be one thing in my head. I was going to see if I could look up under here. Yeah, the frame looks all good and still well, coated. Good. There's no rust. Yeah, there's that new gas tank. Well, if you haven't driven in any rain, you probably haven't had it in any salt, have you? <laughs> Not really. Uh -uh. Not really. Nope. And the fender skirts, the reason they're off, the is when they was taking my tires off, they screwed one of them up, and that's why I had them all. You said just your mom. He said that the reason the fender skirts are off is because when they was changing the tires, they screwed one up, and, and he just told them to sand them down and get them ready to paint. They scratched it. They scratched it, so he yeah. said, let's just do them both. But I'll, I'll have that done, too. Okay, he'll have that done. So, all right, guys, if you're interested in a triple black 72 Continental, I really don't think it would take much to put it back. I mean, you don't need to replace any of the well it does have the crack in the dash but as far as seats and door panels they sure look oh, good to me uh and those door panels were bad about the armrest cracking off and just yeah. falling apart so let's give those another look just to make sure that the door panel isn't coming loose on the driver's side from what i see in there it's all intact I don't see any cracks from here with the armrest. 
you don't see these cars very often really with this many options you know tilt cruise rim blow power locks you know AM FM power antenna it does have quite a few options and I like I say you just can't beat triple black headliner from here I don't see any holes in the headliner it looks new so you know I'm not that far away from him about an hour and a half it's even got his original nameplate on the dash plaque that came from the dealer on it so sorry about all the noise yeah if this is what you're looking for I mean this color is hard to beat So is the price negotiable at all? Very little. Very little. Oh, took five thousand dollars. I was asking eight eight thousand five hundred. Yeah. So you've t you've dropped it five hundred. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see any pits in the mirror. There, no. You know, there's no pitting in any of the Look metal. The doors and everything. Right yeah. We got something right here. Maybe some something's been stuck on there. Hmm. Well, it's, it's like an overspray of something. It's coming right off. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. It, oh, I think it's where it's been buffed on because you can oh, see this here. It could be. It's polish. It's polish. Yeah. It's polish. yeah. But, all right, guys, there you go. We're going to wrap this up. 72 Continental on triple black. Not something you see every day in less than 54,000 miles. So, there it is. Once again, if you're interested, call Alan here first. And then, if you feel like you need to talk to Kenny just please get permission from he's Alan got, he's got permission. they've got permission they, got permission. they okay he yeah. says you've got permission to, to call, call Kenny too others. call but both of you if you got any questions first, yeah so any time of day just leave a message. I'll get this posted and they've got my phone number so if it sells they can tell me and I'll just change in the video I'll put sold right there on it so okay. they know that it's that it's done so the calls don't like keep I coming said, in so yeah I hate to say it but I think you're probably gonna have to get it all buttoned up and running and driving before somebody oh, pays well, that. Will be that yeah I guarantee that. how soon you figure on having that done <laughs> Probably before in, winter well, yeah well he was in the process oh, no. and then this Didn't came until he had to get said, back surgery <laughs> well back surgery and his eye surgery slowed him down but um i'd say we we can have it running probably within should i say 30 days or within 30 days he thinks i could have it running 30 to 45 days. yeah i think it'd really help you a lot if you've actually got it running and driving and stopping so somebody yeah. could actually see yeah, it you know, even though you replaced all those parts, it'll still take sure. a lot. Yeah. And Kenny would be the guy to know that. Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's, he's the guy that's going to turn oh, the key and get uh, it down the road. He has been a mechanic at Lincoln here. He's oh, mechanic. he's been a head mechanic at the Lincoln dealer here in yeah. Springfield? Yeah, he's, he's not no young guy. He's, what, 50s? Yep, late 50s. 50s. Huh. So been doing I mean, time. he is, he's... Uh, yeah. He won't do nothing unless it's right. Okay. But you know, even though you rebuild a carburetor, you still need to fire it up sure and make it sure that it's not backfiring, make sure it idles right and the choke right. works and all everything, that. So everything will be right. Yeah, there he says they have it already within thirty days, so all right, there it is. You've got his contact number. Like I said, if I don't have Mark sold on there, it's available. Yep. So Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in this, get a hold of them. See you soon.